Hello everyone, welcome to Beta by Crashlytics tutorial part 3. And in this part of the tutorial, we'll have one task to demonstrate uh, migration from Fabric to Firebase. So here in our dashboard, uh, there's a part down here called Firebase. When you click on this link, it will open this page where it tells you migrate to Firebase and it just gives you a detailed description of uh, the plans by uh, Google to completely migrate Fabric into Firebase. Um, as you can see here, there's a product roadmap. When you click on that, you'll be able to see uh, the transition plan that they have in place. So uh, it started about September 2018. Here's where they are today. And by March 31st of 2020, uh, Fabric will be completely deprecated. So this is a transition plan. Is where they are today and as you go through this roadmap you'll see the plans that they have in place and as you can see you can see the different features that they're working on for instance what's in the backlog it progress and what's been done so this is under crash latex for instance under beta uh, the stills there's some significant work they've done uh, for instance tester management App version switching, APK, CSV tester imports, invitation share links is in progress, and there's some stuff here in their backlog as well. Analytics seems to be pretty much done, which is cool. And there's digits, there you go. So you can just go through this roadmap and follow up on the progress that they're making. So we'll get into migrating our project from Fabric into Firebase. And um, we'll just start with the sign up real quick. All right, so we've signed in successfully and it says uh, get started. So we'll just hit get started. All right, and we're in. So we can see here that under migration, there are two options. You can link your apps to Firebase and the second one you can invite your, your team to Firebase. So we'll begin by linking apps. And when I click link up, I can see my application here and the different like Firebase projects that I have. For, for instance, these are different projects that I worked on some time before. So I'd like to create a new app for our beta crash statics application. So I'll just drag it here and then set up a new Firebase project. So I'll just call it uh, beta crash -lytics. In region, since I'm in Kenya, I don't know if I can find. Oh, there we go. And then Beta Crash Lytics has a project ID, use default settings, accept. Important. All right, great. And I believe we're good to go. So you can create. All right, so. This looks like it's successful. I can see there's better crash lytics here. Fabric apps to link. So there's my org on beta. And I can see the actual app here. So I'll just hit link one. And after linking, your crash lytics data will show up in Firebase crash lytics with no SDK changes. And that's what we need. We need a seamless migration. So we'll just hit uh, link apps. All right, great. App linked successfully. So as you can see, Beta Crash Lytics, the apps have been linked successfully to Firebase. So if we click here, we should be able to see our application in the Firebase console. All Great. And we are successful. So as you can see, Beta Crash Lytics is um, our Firebase project and here is the app. So I'll just click around so you can see. So this is our app. It says continue SDK setup. And um, these are the different tools uh, that uh, Firebase provides. So for instance, if this develop and this quality here, so there's crash lytics, there's performance and there's the test lab. And if you want to grow this AB testing and all these other tools, we also have our analytics here. So something has caught my attention here, uh, continuous DK setup. So uh, this is part of uh, setting up your particular uh, application to use uh, Firebase. So you download the Google services.json file, 
put it in your project and then you add the SDK so I think we can we can just go through that process um, so I'll, I'll download the file all right so after downloading it says that we should move the Google services.json file into our Android app module so as you can see here it's within the Android app module and we've done the same on our end as you can see here inside our Android app module we have the Google services.json file so we'll click next and now we need to add the Firebase SDK so the Google services plugin for Gradle loads the uh, JSON file you just downloaded so we need to modify our build.gradle file to use the plugin so these are the particular scripts that we'll use we'll just copy and paste them in so in our project level build.gradle file we'll add this line within the dependencies uh, block so um, this is a build.gradle file this is dependencies So we'll put that in there and then secondly we'll come to the app level build a gradle file and copy these two so within the dependencies we'll add the firebase core dependency so this is our app dot level up dot up level build a gradle file so then our dependencies uh, can just title it uh, firebase We'll add that in there. There's one more dependency add at the bottom of the file. Apply this plugin for the Google services mm, at the bottom of the file. So it should be here. And now we can sync. So we'll just hit the sync now button, give it some time to pull in the dependencies. All right, great. So the build is done. It was successful. And we'll go to our browser and click the next step so all we need to do is run our app to verify the installation so we'll run the application Just hit the run button I've connected uh, my device here so I'll just uh, click OK let it build run and install the APK as you can see uh, the app installed if I switch to Visor, we can see that the app is here, it's running, our particular app called Beta Crash Latex. And if we switch back to the browser, you can see that um, we ran the app to verify the installation and it was successfully added to Firebase. So we can just click continue to console. All right, so the question you might be asking is, great, we've migrated successfully from Fabric to Firebase, but what happens to Beta, right? So as you can look here on the left, there no, there's no particular um, feature for beta, right? And what you can do is click on this uh, view fabric migration guide and it'll open this particular page. So I'd actually recommend you reading through this because there's a bunch of interesting stuff you can leverage now and others that will be built in the future. For instance, uh, uh, just viewing the crash data and analytics for your application and if you scroll to the bottom you'll be able to find the particular um, area of focus for us which is crash analytics beta so crash analytics beta isn't in firebase but i linked my fabric app what should i do so you can see that they're saying that they're still working on this product so beta Crashlytics beta will be now called app distribution, but if you're interested, you can actually sign up for a, um, you can sign up for a request before it's done. And if I'm just to switch back to the roadmap, you can see, for instance, beta is still still has some stuff in its backlog, so you can actually also request an early access on the same. So you just need to sign up, fill in a form, and then they can consider you for the alpha program. That being said, congratulations on making it this far. You've been able to successfully migrate your application from Fabric to Firebase. And um, once they roll out the different um, 
features in the roadmap, you'll be able to access them with ease. So you can continue uh, deploying your apps using beta, but once app distribution is complete, you'll be able to um, successfully just integrate it into your workflow since you have already migrated from Fabric to Firebase. So be on the lookout for subsequent tutorials, uh, especially once app distribution is out, I'll definitely do one on how to leverage that. Good luck.